With Okran's guidance, we will grow stronger. His light will toughen us and his blessing will grant us an edge over our enemies in combat. These past weeks have been challenging for us. Nomzet has rigorously trained our soldiers, bringing out the best in them. Meanwhile, our craftsman Handy has been busy crafting more masterful armor. And Daddy Klaus has constructed a bar where we can dine together. As the number of crusaders increases, we've stocked up on our food by expanding our farms. Amidst my overseeing, Karl brought a wounded Okranite before me. The Holy Brother had collapsed near our gates, starving and covered in wounds. I immediately called for Maximus, our skilled combat medic and surgeon, so he may heal this man. After a night's rest I spoke with him, learning his name is Sigmund. Sigmund, a holy paladin, embarking on an ill-fated expedition into the Ashlands, and while he escaped death multiple times, he lost track of his fellow brothers and sisters. He now seeks redemption and wishes to save them. I prayed for Sigmund and explained our cause to him. He instantly expressed his desire to join the Holy Crusade, and I gladly accepted, asking him to rest a few more days so he may fully recover from his injuries. Later, Bob approached me privately, revealing that Shima and Agar are relatives and they had a minor altercation. Thankfully, Bob assured me that things are now under control. And this is precisely what I need. I have a special task for them, to take out the dust bandits. And I will deploy my special squad for this mission. In the meantime, we must prepare ourselves for the cleansing of the shack. Their assault on our holy lands have gone on for too long, and they will face the consequences in the name of Okren. Hello, my fellow Kanji players, and welcome back to The Holy Crusade, episode number 11. In today's episode, we are going to keep on training, we are going to take out the Dust Bandits, and we are going to prepare for war against the Shack Kingdom. It's been a long time coming, as the Shack has been annoying us for quite some time now, but I think it is time to finally end their reign. Now obviously, since we are roleplaying this, I'm going to seek out the help of the Holy Nation to vanquish the Shack Kingdom. So don't be surprised if, for example, in the next episode, you see the Holy Nation helping us out a bit. Anyways guys, before we go into today's video, let me introduce another community member. His name is Sigmund aka Frederick on YouTube. Sigmund was on an expedition into the Ashlands and his sisters and brothers got lost. Hopefully they are still alive somewhere in the Ashlands, but if you know how dangerous they are, I doubt it. Anyways, Sigmund wants to join the Holy Crusade and seek redemption. Frederick is new to my YouTube channel, so hello Frederick, welcome. Or how they say in Spanish, bienvenido. I hope I do pronounce that right. Alright guys, now let's do the following. First of all, I'm going to give Sigmund some better equipment. His old equipment is rusty from the trip to the Ashlands, so he's going to need some new gear. Let's see here, can we have masterwork, masterwork, masterwork and masterwork. Good, now we just need a shirt for him, but that should be easy to come by. Then let me see here, let me get this Paladin's Cross on Sigmund. 
Now we just need to wait for Andy to craft my chainmails. He is really working hard on these chainmails. But once this is done here, I want to train up Handy's stats too, so he can follow us into war. Now, Sigmund, I'm going to swap you over. Now, as I told you, Shima will go into the special unit. These two will take out the Dusking. Obviously, something new needs to be done here because, yes, there we go. I also need to learn how to make, like, Assassin's Rags and stuff, because um, for our fellows who are using them... Yeah, I cannot make this, but that should be easy to come by. If not, then I have a plan. Also, I want to have... Uh, I want to have some head protection for Shima. I'm not sure if that's so fitting, though, like this Paladin Hachigana. Mm, it's actually not looking that bad, I'll be honest. It could be worse, but hey, let's send out Shima and Bob to the Dust Bandits. I trust in their skills that they can take them out. Crossbows with uh, some sleeping bags, some healing... Ooh, we need some food. Do we need some food? There we go. All right, then let's go down there. Let's first move here. So in the meantime, how is our strength training looking? We had a huge assault from the Shack Kingdom, by the way. You know, usually the Shack gets stuck somewhere around here, right? But this time the Shack didn't get stuck, but my reinforcement got stuck over here. So I had to fend this off on my own. I'm going to be honest here, this was a really tough battle. It was a really tough battle and that shows me that I still need to train quite a bit. But hey, um, we have this episode and then we have the time until the next episode. So then I can train our toughness, I can train our combat stats, I can train our strength. We have a lot more time left to do these things. Talking about strength training, uh, it's about time that we move around again. Let's quickly check. Yeah, Kane's strength is currently on 64, but I want to go at least to around 70, because that's what the other squad members also have. I'm going to show you this in a second. The waypoints again. There we go. Nice. Uh, and then let's see. So combat training wise, I did train the others quite a bit. It's like Nomsad, Rulo, Morningstar. You can see here their, their stats are pretty high. Like Pablo has not been with the training. No, Pablo has not been in there. The other ones that are currently training are these guys, Pelinel, Davar, Griffin and Ego. All four of them have stats around 60, except for Davar. Davar is reaching 70 martial art. And even though he is encumbered by quite a bit, his affected damage is 64. Like, he is doing a lot of damage. I know that our weapons aren't that good against the Shack Kingdom, but with the martial art here, that's, like, that's a lot. That's really good. So, speaking of this, let us quickly head in there again. I also gotta wait. Who just came in? Oh, the Shack Kingdom. Looks like they are back up, but... The cross, yeah, they should, yeah, look at this. Just running in circles and down, and this one will also get shot down. I'm pretty sure of that. Let's get in there first. I look a bit confused anyway, just running back and forth. Let me quickly take off his gear. Yeah, there's still... Oh, wait, there's another 100 guard in here. Okay, all right. I'm gonna smelt in their weapons. I'm gonna make some iron out of it. As you can see here, we already have quite a bit of iron. Oh yeah, what I forgot to show off. We have a small little bar in here now. Daddy Klaus has constructed us a bar. It was about time that we had a place where we can eat together and drink together. Although the Holy Nation is not so much for drinking, it, yeah, it should be fine, you know? It should be fine. Also, guys, if you want to read an awesome backstory about Aga and about Shima, then go into the last video of the Holy Crusade, episode number 10, and read Joseph Ehler's comment. It's such a beautiful story. Like, I want to introduce it way more, but it's, it's so hard to do with the storytelling, because if I do that, then we have, like, me telling stories for 30 minutes. I can't hardly do that. But if you, if you like stories like this, then you should go read that. Let's go back to the other 100 Guardian. There's another 100 Guardian, but he's dead. Oh, why? This, this one even died. This one is dying. I don't know, there were like 15 or 20 100 Guardians here. And if we assault the city, then I have to play this really smart. Like, the Shek are really strong. It doesn't really matter if you can lose limbs, but we are the Holy Nation. I cannot replace our limbs once they're gone, so I gotta play this very safe. Now, for the people that know me, they do know that I already play really safe, like usually. Usually, not always, but usually I play really safe in my games. But this playthrough means playing 
even safer. So I think I got most of the 100 Guardians gear. Oh, and by the way, it is not a problem if you just lose an arm or something like that. And losing one arm is okay. By the way, L, I made you a long sword out of your saber. Just saying, in case you were wondering. And I also gave you those ninja racks that you wanted. Uh, please tell me if this is looking alright now. So let me quickly see combat training wise. Oh yeah, I've swapped out all the prisoners, by the way, to the United City ones, like these ones. Because they are by far the best training. Uh, this could also be because they have really good gear. I mean, that's, that's a possibility. So yeah, but I don't have to swap around the gear and everything. Technically, I could try to give them even better gear. But right now, I don't have anything to spare, so yeah. I think I'm gonna do another set of training with these guys, and then I'm gonna swap out four more people. So, yeah. I can't train them to 90. Like, that's not possible, because that takes way too long. But I want everyone to have at least decent combat stats, and with decent, I mean around 60. Oh, yeah, what I forgot to show you. Sigmund, by the way, started off with the stats of a paladin. Since he was a paladin who was going into the Ashlands, I thought it made a lot of sense that he's actually having the stats of a paladin. And we are also moving to the late game, like coming to... to we are mid to coming to late game closely. And that's why I think adding characters with a little bit higher stats makes sense. You can correct me if I'm wrong there. I wanna see how much... I wanna see if Davar still gets a lot for... Yeah, he gets 2% for an attack. This... okay. He just got 4%. I think if the enemy is dodging or blocking, he gets 2%. But if he hits the enemy, he gets 4. Yeah, look at the 70 martial art now. He's going to hit like a truck. I also wanna train up his toughness even higher. That's one thing I gotta do anyway, because toughness is going to be extremely important when we fight the Shack. Otherwise, we're going to lose some limbs, which is uh, not good. So let me quickly look to our special forces. Ooh, they're close to the Dusking's Tower. For our heavy weapon users, I also gotta make sure that I get the blueprint for a fallen sun. It's also not bad that Davar's arm is injured, because then he only does the kicks. And those kicks don't do that much damage. And if Davar is hitting with his fists, he's doing a lot of damage. Like I said, 70 martial art damage, even though he is encumbered, like I am having an encumbered to 81%, and he is still doing so much damage. I really gotta see the VAR in full action. The same goes for Bonk, by the way. Bonk is going to be really strong too. Asa is also using martial art. I bought a lot of mad kits, by the way, and I'm just sorry that I also have some here, because I need this. Trust me, guys, once we venture into those godforsaken lands. Also, for the people who are interested, also, for the people who are interested in my lore videos, I'm currently working on the next one. And yeah, I'm just going to give you a little hint. It's it's going to be about the Ashlands. I want to make this a little bit longer. Like this time around, I have gone out to theorize a lot more than in my other videos. I'm not sure if you guys will like that or if you prefer the shorter lore videos. But I guess I'm going to find out once the video will drop. That being said, it's still going to take a bit of time. I should probably use these backpacks with everyone, as they give them minus combat skills, which means I get faster XP. 71 martial art, guys. We're coming along quite nicely. And from what I can see here, once we beat down these guards, we can basically go heal up our own... We can basically heal up our own soldiers after that, because they're all injured. Some more, some less. I mean, Davar is kind of hurting himself too with the martial art thing. I guess I would just maybe take one or two more people from the United Cities in. Because then can I can do it a bit faster. We gotta also say that these guys already have higher combat stats now because they've been fighting for quite a bit. Alright, this batch is over. And I'm getting attacked on my special unit force here. Now, I think fighting these now is not a good idea. You know what I hate the most? If there's just one bandit who is attacking me all the time. But, uh, <laughs> Kala took care of this. By the way... Oh yeah, we just came back from the trip. Gonna do another shopping trip. Although, slowly, slowly but steady, uh, our gear is getting less and less. Come over to slip in here. Get yourself some chain and steel. So, colored. Oh yeah, by the way, Joseph, I forgot that Aga 
Aga also wanted a long sword as second weapon. I just thought it looked really cool that he has two pole arms on his back. I mean, currently he's holding one in his hand, but uh, usually when he has them behind there, it looks really cool. That's why I kept it like that. If you don't want that, you can just tell me. Let me first remove this here and the backpack of Shima. Now, I know that combat stat-wise, we aren't looking all too good. But Shima's toughness and Bob's toughness are quite high. Although Shima's toughness is way higher. <clears throat> we could use this opportunity before we take them out. Uh, we could use this for training, I guess. A bit farther away with Shima. Mm, I could fight around here, though. This would give me even more toughness. Oh, damn it. Shima just ran over there. Ooh, another batch of dust bandits roaming around. Is Shima far enough away? No, no. You don't find and rescue. You're gonna move farther back. Playing dead. Good. Standing up. Nice. We got the level. Okay. Okay, I'm going to abuse this a little bit before we actually do anything. Uh, I hope they don't put me into the prison. Are they going to put me into the prison when I fight here? Guess I'm going to fight out very soon. Okay, he goes down. Boy, what's this? That's nothing. Okay, they do not put me into the prison, which is very good. So that means I can train my toughness here. Honestly, I kind of feel a bit bad now because this is a good toughness training. I told you guys about it and now I gotta do it. Once you take out the dust bandits, hmm, they will still roam around. I know that dust bandits still spawn, but not that many. But yeah, we can always train on the starving bandits, even though it doesn't always work out like that, but we can still do it. Barabas is getting attacked by... God, oh no. Oh no, Barabas just got shot at the head. Boys, friendly fire. Playing dead, standing up. One point, nice. Yeah, then we're going to train here a bit. Yeah, Bob's... Yeah, Bob's stats are also really bad. I mean, I'm so used to the 60 stats now. Because I always looked at my combat training squad. You should not underestimate this ninja blade here. Now, although against the skeletons later on, this is going to be quite useless. But right now, it's really good against, against the bandits. So how is our strength training looking? Still going on, they're still running around. Oops, I forgot to get these guys out. Not good. But they are they aren't even that injured. Ooh, I got just wow, I got two points there. Two points in toughness. Oh no, I should have not. Oh, this is good. This is really good training here. Damn it. I mean it's my bad. Okay. I told you guys we're taking them out. Yeah. We'll find another way, we'll find another way. But at least I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get Bob and Shima up to 80 toughness. Just imagine they come back, like Bob and Shima come back and Barabas is like, So did you take out the Dust King? And they're like, well, no, we just got beaten down over and over again. Then we felt sorry for them and nah, we just, we just let them be. Would be a bit weird then. Also, the war against the Shack Kingdom is going to show us how strong we are. Because we can... Because then we can tell, like, if we struggle against the Shack Kingdom, we're going to struggle a lot <laughs> against, the, against the skeletons. Although I'd say um, we are moving... When we're moving down there... When we're moving down there, I'm going to go to Sonora's Dark 2. And I think we're gonna take out the Skin Bandits first. I'll be honest, uh, because the skin bandits are a big problem, and if we can get rid of them, like if we can get rid of the skin bandits, we can reliably make an outpost without getting annoyed all too much, I would say. Might not be a bad idea to do that. Okay, I think it's about time that we move out our combat squad, and we, net and we let the next batch of recruits train. So, but before we do that, Davar, this backpack you have on you, Please put it back in here, because otherwise then you run around with being encumbered so much. His martial art is 105 now. And I'm going to get his toughness up even higher, and then he's doing even more than that. Oh boy. Then, Pablo, Sillery, Carl, and Mr. Kleenex. Wait, did Mr. Kleenex already train? Or was I wrong about this? No, he did not. Okay, Kleenex did not train. He's hungry though. Kleenex? Explain yourself, why are you hungry? There is food over here. More than enough. More than enough food over here. Alright. Uh, I know that I obviously could use weaker weapons. This would make this even easier. Let's try this out first. Also, my prisoners start to starve. So I should probably give them some food. Okay, Kleenex is going to share. Okay, before we do that, let's look 
to Bob quickly. Stand up. 75 toughness, nice. I think I'm going to put Bob on block. Otherwise he will start to attack them a bit too often. I think what I'm scared of the most when it comes to the Ashlands are the Iron Spiders. I think this will probably be our biggest pain in the ass. Because I can deal with skeletons, I can also deal with skin bandits, even though that sounds crazy, but I can deal with them. But these iron spiders, man, they do so much damage. They will just limp us off. Even, I don't, they won't probably kill us, but they will just limp us off. And that's, that's worse for the Holy Nation. If we lose an arm, yeah, that, that's fine. Losing an arm is okay. But, you know, you, you know how it goes. Ooh, I could use this, like, this is both really bad. I could use this for training. So let's go to Blister Hill again. Blister Hill we go. So how much do we get here? Pablo, let's show. Attack, Pablo. Oh, you missed that. We get 4% if we... If the enemy is defending. And we get 8% if, we, if the attack goes through. Sometimes they just hit on a specific body part multiple times and then they just fall over. Slipin is getting attacked. Run, slipping, run. Let's check out Celery here. He's just getting 3%. Nice. Things are going up, so that's good. That's what I'd like to see. Every hit is going to make us stronger. Oh my. We're gonna take off the lag if this keeps going on like this. I don't really want to take off the lag as I can't really replace it. But yeah, please. Yeah, okay. But that was a really good fight. Like, we got a lot of XP there. Sometimes the fights last so long. Going to see if we can fight the whole batch without needing to heal, but it seems pretty good. From what I can tell here. Oh no, we are on aimless. I just realized that. Okay, everyone, let's come to the food chamber here. Let's get some food. <laughs> Kleenex just said so much blood. I think I'm gonna throw up. I didn't expect Kleenex to say this, I'll be honest. He's probably just making jokes. Not not meaning this is serious. I'm also thinking of equipping everyone with a long sword. It's a status symbol of the Empire, though, so I'm not so sure about this. Alright, uh... Yeah, this is going to take a bit. I'm going to quickly give them some food. And then I'm going to send my other guys back. It's really hard micromanaging everything at the same time. Because I'm, for example, I'm using valuable time while... Bob is just lying on the ground and not standing up, but at the same time, I'm, I'm using... Th then again, I'm using training time if I'm not doing anything here. It wasn't enough for a level, but that's fine. Who's fighting here? Yeah, we, we're not having any crazy mods on, so it's just some starving bandits. Well, at least Bob's melee defense is going up, but that's nice. Yeah, we're going for 80 there. All right, then let's not forget our training, boys. Let's not forget our strength training. I wonder if they make a better way of training strength in Kenji 2, like just normally, if there will be anything better. I'm curious. I mean, <laughs> I like to run around with iron on my back as much as the next guy, but you know, you know what I mean? Card is not looking so good. He was in a battle, it seems. So, sell the weapons and let's get some more food. Just buying some extra food right now because we are growing every day and it's becoming quite hard to sustain. All right, 80 toughness, here we go. Then we're going to run out now. Remove the block, obviously. Come over here with Shima. Shima will place down a camping bed where Bob will rest up a bit. And while Bob is resting up, I'm going to train Shima's toughness a bit more so that she's also on 80 I'm also going to put her on block here and remove the range. Alright, down she goes. Bob is just chilling outside. Good. Alright, 80 toughness, here we go. Good. Now that's what I wanted. Now I'm going to heal up and then it's time that we take out the dash bandits. Oops, uh, so I got the backpack on. Now once they're healed, we're going in. And then let's see here. How are our prisoners looking? Oh, it's looking good. That is looking very good. Great. Now, let's do this again. Huh, having a Satada Stone Golem as a training partner would obviously be really, really nice. Now, I could have also kept Mole here, but you, you know how it is. I had to go with the roleplay style and I, I didn't. Yeah, I, I, it's my own fault. It is my own fault. Hey, 
We got some aimless people here? What? No. Okay. It just, the game just told me they were aimless, but they're still moving around. Alright, one more. And then it's back to healing. Oh, in the meantime, our special squad is looking pretty good. Too much armor is slowing you down. Meanwhile, they're also wearing <laughs> a lot of heavy armor. Not gonna, not gonna say anything. So it's night time. Technically, night time is a very good time to attack. So now, what's really nice about the dust bandits is that they do not use bandages, which makes it really simple in taking them out. They're also fighting right now, so I'm going to use this chance. And I'm going to go in there. First of all, we gotta take out their crossbows. Now, I would say you're not shooting there right now. But yeah, look at the damage. That, look at the damage Shima is doing. That's a lot of damage. Like, yeah, Bob is doing half of the damage compared to Shima. Nice. Oh, he's, he's, he's standing, but he's dying. Nice. Stay together. Let's take them out. They can't heal themselves, so it's not a big threat. Let's move to the other side. Oh, how is it looking in here? Oh my. They are fighting some starring bandits. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's move out here. Let's move out. I don't want to fight inside of there. By the way, Shima removed the backpack. We can technically use a hit and run technique. As, like I mentioned, they can't really heal themselves. Yeah, that's what I mean. Just slicing in there. It was a really nice dodge on my behalf. There we go. Yeah, the damage Shima is putting out is crazy. That's what good weapons do, guys. Sadly, uh, Shima is using the weapon because we got it from the bandits and it fits her style. Yet, I don't know if any of our other guys will ever achieve a better weapon. Maybe I find a nice roleplay way of getting a better hacker. For example, that the Holy Lord Phoenix is, has found a great weapon and he wants it to give it to Barabas. So at least that Barabas is doing more damage. Well, we, we're going to see. We're going to see how I do it. That, that always depends how hard it's going to be to go into the Ashlands, like to survive it. Oh my, yes. Wait, where's the Dust King? Did he went back inside? Or is he shooting at us? Oh, he's shooting at us. There he is. Okay, Bob is out. Shima is going to fight this on her own. <laughs> We're just looking at how good she's doing this. It's looking really nice. Yeah, Shima got this. I wonder why Bob is taking so much more damage. Oh! Ah! Okay, I know why. I know why. Okay, never mind. I know why. That's the gear. Now, I wonder... Okay, Shima doesn't want to shoot. She had her arrows in the back. Or her bolts, I should say. Come on, fight me. Slap, slap, slap. Oh, yes. So where's the Dust King? Come at me, bro. Well, where did he go? Where did the Dust King go? Pretty sure he didn't run out, right? Oh, there he is. Come on, Shima, you can do this. Bob is fighting on the outside in the meantime. Yeah, I gotta give Bob better gear. And the Dust King is down. We gonna heal him up. Yeah, I don't want him to die. There we go. Got the Dust King on our shoulder. Isn't that nice? Okay. Now we could look into the town too. Like into the tower. We should probably do that. Like with Bob, I'm gonna let Bob rest for a bit. Okay, and I'm gonna check out the tower with Shima here quickly. Just wanted to see if there's anything worth inside. Not getting shot by like 10 crossbow dudes. I got a good weapon for this though. Shooting their friends in the back. Not a good idea, at least not in my book. Nice. You can do it, Shima, I believe in you. Nice. She did it. There's a specialist grade toothpick in there. I mean, I'm taking it. Brad. I mean, obviously, you should not expect much from this. It is, after all, just a Dust King's Tower. It's like they are the weakest bandits. Right next to the... Right next to the Starving Bandits, they are the weakest bandits. Alright! Oh my, oh my. Combat stat. Oh, they're working. Okay. Kleenex is still hungry. I don't know why Kleenex doesn't eat. I mean, he's probably yearning for human flesh, as far as we can tell. Pablo, by the way. You should probably go to bed a bit. Oh God, Pablo's toughness is so low. Yeah, I gotta fix that. Also, let's check for some steel bars. Chainmail sheet here and two steel bars. Nice. Back now. Yeah, timing-wise, this is perfect. I timed that really good. 
Dust King is gone. We did some training here and there. Let me quickly check on my strength. Yeah, they're about to reach 70 strength. Good. Good, good, good. We are looking pretty good. Now, Bob, you can stay here a bit longer anyway, because the episode is ending. Alright, guys. Well, then, I'm going to say thank you for watching today's episode of the Holy Crusade. I do hope we see each other in the next episode. I'm going to train our toughness, our strength and our combat stats until the next episode. And then we're going to assault the Shack Kingdom. Like I mentioned before, it's a roleplay, and roleplay-wise, since we are not using any special weapons, obviously, we're going to get some help from the Holy Nation itself. And yeah, be prepared for the next episode. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.